Say hello to Cosmo, the adorable spider on Aberration that is stealing hearts all over the Ark. Oh look, this Cosmo is demonstrating a cute display of the children's game, Red Light, Green Light. Pass his little test and you'll earn a friend for life. Be careful around this Cosmo though, because he might steal your girl with a cute face like that. Cosmos love nothing more than to swoon the ladies. Cosmo has a dark secret though. When he's not dropping panties, he's dropping bodies, and it's time for the Island Guardians to pay the price. 100 Spadooters with the following stats will take on the Megapithecus, Broodmother, and Dragon on Gamma, Beta, then Alpha to show us if they have what it takes. The Undercuties swing into the Gamma Megapithecus arena while being led by the fearless Commander Utes. If there's one thing that Cosmo doesn't like, it's punk-ass monkeys, and the biggest punk of them all is the Gamma Megapithecus. The cute Cosmos shoot webs left and right, and when the big man decides to get too close, they unleash the fury and tear him to shreds. That's an easy pass for the little guys. The Broodmother thought she knew what it took to be the baddest spider around, but the Cosmic Crushers have other plans. The size of the Cosmo poses a bit of an interesting dynamic. If you're a fan of the Underdog series, then you know that they're going to be hit from the Broodmother no matter which way she's facing. They easily fit underneath her hitbox, and the dragon is going to be a massive pain as well. But that's a problem for future Cosmo, because they tear the Broodmother a new asshole, earning a pass. The dragon can easily be taken out in a situation where you're using creatures that don't take aggro from the wind you're riding. You can easily position yourself out of harm's way underneath the dragon, and your army can hit it from the back. The problem with the Cosmo is, they're easily the smallest creatures we've ever used in this series, and small creatures are usually bugged and can't attack the dragon. This is definitely a problem for little Mr. Cosmo, but we worked through it and they put down the dragon, earning a pass and clearing the Gamma stage. The Beta Megapithecus is up next, and if you've made it this far, thank you for hanging out. And in case you didn't already know, this is for entertainment purposes only, and it cannot be done without using mods. The Cosmo is kind of interesting. They fire off some webs in the beginning, or when there's some distance between them and the boss, and sometimes they'd switch to Psycho Melee mode and not really do anything, but other times they'd go all crazy in unison and completely shred the boss's health. They take down the Beta Megapithecus, earning a pass. Right about now is when shit usually hits the fan. The Beta Broodmother is no slouch, and she tears through Commander Utes with a quickness and starts working on poor little Cosmo. Remember when I said sometimes they all attack in unison and shred the boss? Yeah, this is exactly what happened here. I was completely blown away at how quickly they destroyed the Beta Broodmother, and this gave me a huge confidence boost. If they can shred the Beta Broodmother like this, then surely they can take out the Alpha Broodmother, right? We'd have to wait and see, but for now, that's a pass. The Beta Dragon is up next, and honestly, I felt okay going into this fight. The Cosmos don't have any armor, so it's important to avoid taking damage as much as possible. I like to absorb the first few shots of fire with Commander Utes before sending in the squad, but sometimes things just don't go as planned. And sometimes they go better than expected. And we just so happened to be positioned perfectly, and almost all of the Cosmos started landing all of their shots, and they melted the Beta Dragon down to nothing, earning a pass and clearing the Beta stage. No matter what happens for the rest of this competition, just know that Cosmo is a champion. And you too can have this champion on your team if you find him on Aberration. Team 10, they need homes, and are guaranteed to keep you safe. The Alpha Megapithecus isn't typically a difficult boss, but he does hit pretty hard. And that damage is a lot higher when you're not wearing a saddle. The biggest issue though was the knockback and the speed that the Alpha Megapithecus comes packing. I've tried this fight a couple times and the Cosmo just couldn't pull it off, especially on this one where most of them got punched into the ravine. Rest in peace Cosmo, that's a fail. Oh Alpha Broods, how much pain have we caused each other over the years? I thought she might want to adopt some babies because you know, she might be the biggest whore on the block, but she's not that bad of a mom, and baby Cosmo needs a mama. She was pretty pissed at this gesture and accused me of only coming to her when I need something. Well bitch, I don't need anything. Little Cosmo needed something, and you killed him. You killed all of them. Just wait, I'll get my payback soon. That's another fail. The Alpha Dragon is up next, and if there's one Alpha boss these little monsters can beat, it's this guy. I let them go to work without my interference and it took a while before they were able to get in any sort of position to deal damage. He took off and landed three total times before they did anything worthwhile to his health bar. Of course Commander Utes was gone early on chasing the flames, but Cosmo was relentless. Eventually the dragon toasted a good chunk of them and I thought it was over, but out of nowhere they caught their groove and got positioned in a spot that was conducive to an ass whooping. 
they put his ass down and close the night off with a pass. There won't be a final scoreboard like usual since this was just for fun, but I want to thank you all for checking out this video. If this was graded like the main series, these guys would have earned a solid silver boom medal. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.